Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but we're gonna talk about Hogwarts Legacy. Again, remember Hogwarts Legacy and all the drama, uh, all the drama around Hogwarts Legacy. We've done multiple videos about it. And yeah, we're gonna talk about it again because Twitter was reminded that this game still exists. The official Nintendo account tweeted that it was coming out for Switch. I don't think it's out yet. I can't imagine this game running on Switch, but anyway, it's coming out for Switch and now uh, the Beehive has been whacked again. We're gonna talk about it before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. Check out our pre-order campaign for Shadowbinders Volume 3. If you like Harry Potter and you like magic, uh, this is our uh, comic series, Shadowbinders. It's, uh, we're bringing it back after 10 years. It's been on hiatus for 10 years. We're doing another volume. It's not going to ship until next year, but you can pre-order your copy now. Make sure you get a copy. Uh, make sure we have enough interest in doing more Shadowbinders uh, before we commit to printing it. Uh, so go uh, check that out at shopclownfish.com. Now I have to give a hat tip to Master of the TDS who... Uh, shot me a DM and said, hey, have you seen this? And I'm like, no, I have not. I forgot that uh, Hogwarts Legacy was coming out for Switch. Well, the stands, the anti-JK uh, the anti -JK Rowling stands uh, have not forgotten about this game. In fact, they're going to be very angry about this game, which has broken all kinds of sales records, by the way. I mean, all kinds of records. Uh, this game has sold phenomenally well. But they're angry about it again because how dare Nintendo announce that it's coming out for the Switch after it broke all kinds of records on other platforms and for PC. And, uh, you know, it comes at the same time that uh, J.K. Rowling is saying more stuff that they don't like. Uh, she's saying she would rather go to jail than use a trans person's pronouns or something. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about that, too. That's probably not helping. Um, that's probably not helping. Um, so anyway. Uh, let's go out here and, and talk about this again. Hat tip to Master of the TDS. So remember, guys, when, when this game uh, came out initially, there were campaigns to dox and harass anybody who dared stream it. Even if people came out and said, I don't agree with J.K. Rowling. And even though she was not involved in any capacity with the production of this game, and I, I, you can take that one to the bank. Uh, we actually interviewed uh, the lead designer, uh, one of the uh, producers on the game, that was uh, Troy Lovett. And he said that, yeah, uh, she was not involved. She was not involved in the game at all. But just because she gets paid, because she does, it's her, her intellectual property. She gets paid every time somebody buys a copy, or her company gets paid, rather. Um, it, it's a problem for some people, you know. But uh, just to be clear, she wasn't involved. So here are some of the, uh, the tweets that Master of the TDS has collected. Uh, we have FJK Rowling. We've got, we won't be buying the transphobic wizard product. We've got, we will be boycotting again. That's okay. Not a lot of people boycott. The game sold very, very well. The game sold incredibly well. Uh, I'm not ready for round two of this effing game. I'm going to act, yeah, whatever. Transphobia on the go, boo, hiss, gag, nasty. If I see anyone on my friends list playing this, I'm exposing them. They were actually going around and they were trying to get people in trouble for streaming the game. If you were if you were on Steam and uh, you were on somebody's friends list and you were playing this game, how very dare you? But they're not happy with Nintendo. Reminder, people only pretend to give a shit about trans people and will drop their support the second you dangle keys in front of their face. Uh, can we actually boycott this game? Y'all didn't do a great job last time. Yeah, don't support this game, please, and thanks. Nobody asks, nobody cares. Well, they're going to promote it because money. Uh, without restarting the discourse on the ethicality of playing the transphobic Nazi wizard game, uh, JFC, I cannot imagine the game running well at all on Switch. I am actually with uh, Melanie the Witch on this one. I cannot imagine this game running well on the Switch. Um, you know, it's not the most uh, technologically advanced game out there, but the Switch is basically a PS3. You know, it's not, the graphics aren't fantastic. I don't buy games that give transphobes money. Uh, let's see, we got this one. Uh, we already forget how transphobic and anti-Semitic this game is. Is that, is it still, is it still a thing to be anti-Semitic? Because I'm, I'm on Twitter uh, and I'm seeing a lot of people think it's cool to be anti-Semitic now. Now it's cool to be anti-Semitic. Don't be anti-Semitic. Do not 
be anti-Semitic. I'm just saying. Um, there's a literal open neo-Nazi on the development team. Oh, man, what? what? Don't do it, allies. Watch transphobes buy this out of spite only to realize it runs like shit. Well, yeah, it's, I, I'm going to be honest. I, this is not one I would want to play on Switch. Um, this kind of reminds me of when the, uh, the Ghostbusters video game came out. And I remember they had two versions of it. They had the real version of it, which you could play on, you know, Xbox and PlayStation. And then, they, and uh, I think Steam at the time. And then they had the, uh, the, the goofy cartoon version for the Wii. Now, we played the Wii version originally, but it was, it was like a fraction of the experience of what you would actually play on the Xbox or the PC. Nintendo has gone anti-woke and allowed transphobia on their console. And Universal is allowing it in their theme parks. And Lego is allowing it on the toy shelves. And Hershey's Chocolates allowing it in the food aisle. And HBO is going to broadcast transphobia on the air. What are you going to do? Again, I think what gets me about this, if you don't like J.K. Rowling and you don't like the things she says, that's, your, that's on you. That's fine. You're allowed to have those opinions, right? You are allowed to have those opinions. You can say, hey, or you can even say, hey, I like Harry Potter. I like the movies. I don't like J.K. Rowling. I don't, I don't think she should be saying as much as she's saying. That's, that's fine. The problem is, uh, you know, from my point of view, is like there's been a, a disproportionate amount of hate being thrown at this game, which admittedly did not even involve her. Um, and nobody else is going after all these other companies that are doing Harry Potter tie-ins because it's a video game. You know what I'm saying? So I think Twitter thinks and Twitter and video game journalists, and there were, you know, some, some outlets that would not even cover this game because they're like, we can't cover it objectively, but there are, uh, you know, video game outlets out there that are like, Hey, we're not going to cover it. Uh, don't give your money to transfer whatever, but th they'll have no problem going to super Nintendo world when it opens in Florida. And even if they don't go to the wizarding world, they're still giving Universal their money. And Universal is going to give that money to J.K. Rowling because they have to every year. They have to pay her a fee. So, you know what I'm saying? So it's like they'll, they'll do mental gymnastics for that. They're still going to go buy Hershey products. They're still going to buy Legos, you know, and some of that money goes to her by proxy. So if you're going to boycott it, you got to boycott it all. You can't just boycott some of it, Right. You got to you got to choke all these companies out completely. Remember that period of time in February, alt right chuds had to try to hype up this three out of ten nothing burger of a seventy dollar game as being an unironic game of the year contender in the same year with Pikmin four in it. And then they kind of quietly shut up in a month. Uh, well, the alt right chuds didn't really need to say much because the sales spoke for themselves. How very bold of you to tweet this after J.K. Rowling just condemned transgender women again, Nintendo. How dare you? I'm indescribably upset. Imagine it kills your Switch, making it so if you play this game, the Switch dies and it's karma for supporting this franchise. How old are these people? You know, I keep thinking they're like teenagers. They're probably like 34. Because I don't think today's kids really give a poop about Harry Potter, do they? Don't forget to boycott this transphobic game. Does Nintendo of America care for trans rights or not? Friendly reminder that J.K. Rowling is a transphobic bigot and supports neo-Nazis, and Harry Potter is deeply anti-Semitic. This game not only funds neo-Nazis and transphobic policy, it also reinforces the rampant anti-Semitic caricatures of their present franchise. You mean the goblins? The goblins. Oh, my God. Or, or, so the, let's ban D&D &D too, I guess. Well, D&D, that's okay. D&D is like banning everything that's problematic in it anyway, and there's not going to be anything left of it. Uh, anyway, this game has a very anti plot. Don't play the game. Don't play the game, guys. So let's go out to the actual quote here. Well, this is funny. Like, reminder to people in the quote retweets. Do you want to be part of that? Do you want to make the same mistakes to produce the same effects on communities over and over and over again? Um, you know, lots and lots of bullying. Uh, lots of people being targeted. You know, uh, Hassan Abi got targeted. Lots of streamers, Twitch streamers got targeted. We had people popping up in our comments. They're like, so-and-so VTuber is not going to stream with you if you stand for this game. I'm like, bitch, we don't even stream the game. I don't think we've ever streamed the game. But they were literally going out to Twitch. There was an app set up. There was a website set up. They were going out to Twitch to find people that had streamed or were going to stream this game or whatever. And they would find them. And then they'd go to their, their uh, account and they would harass them. They would dox people over a fucking video game that she wasn't even involved in. I know she wasn't involved in it because I interviewed the guy who worked on the game. She was not involved in the game at all. 
God. Leaked screenshot of Hogwarts Legacy on the Nintendo Switch. That's probably true. Do it for her. Yeah. Yeah, she was harassed. She was. Um, oh, my God. Crying man losers posting this again. Avenge the fallen. Do it for her. Um, something that's actually better than Hogwarts is Xenoblade. Yeah, it's probably... Uh, Xenoblade's pretty good. Bayonetta? Nah. If you're looking for a witchy magical game on the Switch with actual effort, actual heart, actual heart put into it. Here are a couple games on the Switch. Bayonetta, which that was a whole controversy too. Uh, ratioed. You got ratioed. Uh, your Switch the second you <laughs> step foot in Hogwarts. Oh my God. Here we go again with the antis claiming it's sexist and stuff without evidence. Uh, shit, here we go again. Yeah, and you can run, you can run, you know, Grand Theft Auto or whatever. You can punch women all day. So there we go, guys. They're very, 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 uh, <laughs> very, very salty. Very salty. Wait, they're actually re releasing it. I thought it was a joke. Yeah, uh, just be just be glad it's not the 1990s and they're releasing it on Game Boy because they used to release all these like AAA titles on Game Boy, like a Game Boy version of it too. So here's the latest controversy around J.K. Rowling. This happened the same day they put that out. Um, and look, I'm not even going to pretend to understand UK politics, right? It's, it's confusing. But she said, I'll happily do two years in prison if the alternative is compelled speech and forced denial of the reality and importance of sex. Bring on the court case, I say. It'll be more fun than I've ever had on a red carpet. Ooh, see you on the inside. I quite fancy the kitchens. <laughs> Hoping for the library, obviously, but I think I could do okay in the kitchens. Laundry might be a problem. I have a tendency to shrink stuff and turn it pink accidentally. Uh, guessing that won't be a major issue if it's mostly scrubs and sheets, though. Uh, no. Repeat after us. Trans women are women. No. She, she won't. She won't. Use your pronouns. Look, you don't have to like her. You don't have to agree with her. Okay? But you don't go around and, like, freaking stalk and harass people who are playing the Wizard game. You know, most people don't even know what the hell J.K. Rowling thinks about anything. They don't. Most people, most normal people, don't, they wouldn't even be able to tell you she was the author of Harry Potter. Who wrote Harry Potter? I don't know, some British lady that's got a lot of money. I, I don't know her name. I don't remember her name. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't care. So you're punishing normies who don't care. Are you going to harass every kid with, like, a pamphlet that goes to Universal and walks out of Universal with a wand and a wizard hat? Probably. These, prob these people probably would. But a lot of the people there complain they could never afford to go to Universal anyway. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, there we go, guys. Uh, it's happening again. It's happening again. Uh, check out Master of the TDS on, on Twitter uh, for more information. Oh, there's more. Look at this. Oh, my God. The game is ass. I don't get it. If Vivian isn't explicitly trans, I riot. Will not be playing this. I hope it crashes for everyone who buys it. Uh <laughs> Wow, what excellent timing. I sure hope the creator of this franchise didn't tweet something transphobic only three hours before the announcement. Yeah, okay. I'll give you that one. Not Probably not a good day to put this up. But they had, it's probably a scheduled tweet. I don't think they have any, any idea of what's going on. I don't think Nintendo cares. I don't think Nintendo really cares. Uh, they had to step into the space bun controversy on Animal Crossing, and they're like, this is stupid. Remember the space bun controversy? Yeah, apparently you were not allowed to use buns on white characters because that was a black character thing and that was a whole thing on twitter uh you weren't allowed to use poofs or whatever because they were supposed to be afro poofs and nintendo's like yeah we don't care it's a japanese game made by japanese people and they're just whatever you you do you but we don't care we want everybody to buy our game right so i'm gonna wrap this one up uh please subscribe Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.